Shadow, shadow, shadow. here again we're back in the sub underground bunker doing clandestine experiments today this one is for all the uh, free energy guys that make all the interesting contraptions that uh, appear to work from uh, no no outside power source well I've constructed this one from secret information obtained clandestinely and we'll show you how this thing works now we've got the uh, the power source, the uh, big accumulator here, all shorted out with our yellow clip leads. You notice as soon as we take this off, it just starts running. Now, how can that be? It's a clear plexiglass piece. It's on a wooden table. There's no visible wires. Let's shut it down here for a second. I'll show you what uh, what it's about here. There's no connect. There's no wires. It's on a piece of clear plexiglass. No visible connection to supply power to this device. And if we turn, supposedly the theory is, we turn this special triple bifiler wound coil perpendicular to the Earth's magnetic field, we'll get no power. The theory is, we don't even need magnets. We just need these specially designed metal alloy veins which activate the flux gap and modulate the Earth's magnetic field, creating power. As soon as we turn it to magnetic north, there we go. It's running. No visible power source. And it has quite a bit of torque. It just runs and runs until, of course, until we short it out. Like I said, no magnets required. Just a specially wound coil to pick up the Earth's magnetic field. Now supposedly, this thing was, uh, the information to construct this device was obtained through an electronics engineer who had undergone some Dianetic auditing at the Corporation of Scientology and recalled in a past life this amazing alien piece of hardware. You know, we could save mankind with this kind of technology. We could have free power. Everybody could just tap in to the uh, magnetic field of a planet and just run all of our appliances and our cars of course, it'd be kind of hard to keep a car aligned to magnetic north. Of course, I'm sure that could be worked out. As soon as we bring it into magnetic north, there we go. Oh, and here's the, in the, here's the uh, schematic of this device. Oh, was that too quick? We'll pause the video to see it more clearly. And here in a moment, I will reveal the secret of the operation of this device. You know, this would be amazing if we could actually do something like this. And no more oil companies, no more power generation stations. Wouldn't that be amazing? Anyway, I thought about leaving this up on the internet for a while just to let it percolate and get spread around and everybody tries to build them and see if they could actually solve the puzzle. But I decided it's time to reveal the secret. I'm going to go ahead and uh, short it out here so it stops. Now I'll have to take it off the table to show you what, uh, what the secret is.
Oh, looky there. We've got an old bulk tape eraser <laughs> strapped to the bottom of the table with a push button on it. It's the, uh, the primary of a transformer. It induces a magnetic field through the wood and the plexiglass. Up to the second half of the transformer, which is the secondary right here. Basic electromagnetics. Nothing uh, too mysterious about that, although it can be made to appear so. Push the button and it runs. Isn't that amazing? Right through the table. Transmitting power right through an inch and a half of plexiglass and wood. How about that? Sorry guys, there is no such thing as free energy. I just wanted to do this to make a point. You know you guys out there trying to uh, work with your magnets and your HHO gas and all this, you know you'd make good Scientologists. Bye.